Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial by Eclip. This lecture is going to be about delays. So I'm going to show you a few of my favorite delay plugins and going through their options a little bit one by one. I must say that I love using delays a lot in my music production and I love them a lot because with uh, reverbs and delays I'm able to create like unique kind of ambience into the tracks. This is for me the main goal when I make music. It's not the melodies, it's not anything in uh, particular, but it is the ambience the track is giving. So a lot of atmospheric sounds that are going on a reverb in delay with the long tails and then all of those tails are matching into each other is creating some, some unique kind of atmosphere. And this is the biggest reason why I use a lot of delays and reverbs in my production. For this tutorial I prepared already the project with uh, drum templates, it's in e-tone and just dropped the few different single shot sounds and made a group which I send all of those sounds into the group and on groups insert are all the plugins that I'm gonna be showing in this tutorial. So let's jump on the first one. So first plugin in my list is definitely Echo Boy from Sound Toys and it's really amazing one i will go through there its options and then we will hear how does it sound so it has like four different modes single echo dual echo and ping pong and rhythmic echo so single echo is just a one delay dual echo is like two different delays and ping pong is kind of one delay where you control left and right what's gonna happen on left channel, what's gonna happen on right channel and this is the option I use mostly because I love this stereo movement in my tracks because we have static drums which are always like a constant and don't change much so I'm always looking in the mids where you can do the magic to have some kind of stereo movement and I try to make in my music everything to move a little bit here you have tempo, groove, shuffle, swing it's really important for those guys who make uh, tracks in swing also to have a swing into the delay. It's kind of really important because if the delay is not in swing, it's not going to match the grid of the groove of the track. Here you have like left the time, feedback, low cut, high cut, really useful option because I also try always to cut a little bit from lows and from the highs. Sometimes if not just a little bit, sometimes a lot. And that way I'm uh, leaving the tail of a reverb to be in, in the mids. When they go left and right, going filtered out into the mids, it just for me create like unique atmosphere in the track. And then you have here as well, this is stereo with option where you can control how much they will go left and right, this ping pong. And I always use it a little bit less, but I always want to have it because if you send it like a lot, it's pretty extreme on uh, when the setup is on middle that way you will have the same information but you will still have like a lot of movement so I try to control it to always be there but not to go like straight to left and straight to right so to be just slightly moving from the midpoint and here is the magic of sound toys echo boy is that you have here a lot of algorithms how the delay will sound if we use it on master tape and we put it on this sound so it's just normal but here for example telephone and fm radio are sounds amazing because it's it's a different algorithm and it sounds really amazing and telephone sounds It just go like in mids like a telephone option but it's for me sounds amazing and as well down here you have like low EQ, mid EQ and high EQ settings of a tail of a delay and there is a diffusion option here where you can diffuse the tail which I don't use much but sometimes it's really nice also wobble to tweak around all these settings to, to go a little bit from the points that we set them up and saturation here as well so this one is definitely my favorite and if you didn't try all of the sound toys are best buy really worth of buying all of their plugins really really good ones so next delay plugin that i want to show you is a replica from native instruments it's really good one it's pretty simple but it has all the important options that i need to have in a delay which is saturation low cut high cut 
mix feedback this is normal and you can also modulate here the tail of a delay with the cutoff with like filtering and you have three different modes i use modern usually vintage and diffusion so this one is pretty simple uh, but it's really good one and i recommend all of you this one as well <laughs> This was with the filter option with the modulation. You can also hear it also goes into the mids because with a low cut here and a high cut. So without it's like a pretty clear. Sounds like regular but low cut like around 200 and high cut around 2k. Just to go into the like mids and low mids. With a bigger feedback and with a reverb on top, because all of this I always use in a combination like reverb and a delay. And Replica is really good one as well. So we're gonna jump on the next one. And the next plugin is Tone 2 Filter Bank. If you like, as I do, those kind of delays and filters in the same time, this one is pretty amazing and it has like really unique sound. It's not for use in, in every case, but sometimes it really gives something really magical in uh, filtering the delay effect. It does have here, I found I always try to go in bandpass mode with the delays, as I said already. So this BP Moog is a really good one. And here is the Q, and this is the frequency where you want to place the tail of a delay. And here is the send, how far this is this is working like a feedback on the regular ones. So let's just hear how does it sound. This is with the less send and a little bit more. And in combination with the reverb on this, it's really good one. And you could place it a little bit even more. You can find a spot around 84 sounds really long and it's pretty good. So that is for this one. The next one is age delay from Waves. It's pretty simple one. It's the, like similar to Replica, but you can choose from those two. I will not go through the options because it's really obvious, delay time, feedback, but it does have filtering options and some analog algorithms for the sound, drive at feedback, timing, ping pong. So everything, what does it need? So I will just play this sound. So pretty, pretty good sounding plugin as well. It's also one of the options that you can use and have all the options that needed for this kind of affecting your sounds. So let's jump on the next one. Next one is Crystallizer from Sound Toys as well. And it's kind of a delay, but it works like, uh, yeah, it's right in there, granular echo synthesizer. So basically what it do, it uh, do use the same technique as delays, but it has the pitch options. So you can pitch down, pitch up, even move it around. So you can get a crazy, really psychedelic effects with uh, crystallizer. And I use it a lot, sometimes even just for a small, like a granulars around some sounds that are kind of boring staying in the middle so with the crystallizer you can do like small particles around it it does have the splice length so all the decay of each note can be a little bit less and i prepared here like just the two snares from groove agent and i put the reverb on it so it does sound much better with the reverb especially for those single shots so you can use it for getting some really crazy. If you just go through the presets, you will realize how you can tweak it around. And basically it's really simple, but you have also tweak option here. And this is like how much you want pitch to offset, splice offset, delay offset and everything. and so on like it's really 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 good plugin as well so let's jump on the final one which is 
Timeless from Fab Filter, Timeless 2 actually. So we come again back to the amazing interface of Fab Filter and all of their plugins and this delay as well. It does look a little bit complicated, but when you understand how does it work, it really have some, some unique options that other delays do not. So basically it does come with the left and right, in the left and right like double delay all the time. But by pressing those locks here, you will turn off the right one. So we stay with only left channels, that means only one delay plugin. And position here is like panning is in the middle. So basically it's a mono delay now. But what you actually can do, you can add the modulations here in the timeless, which, which are enormously uh, great and really, really good feature inside. So I made an XLFO here, like clicking by clicking here, new XLFO, and then by pressing this and connecting to the left and right, I did connected XLFO to the panning. It's actually doing the same. It's a mono delay, but it goes left and right. So now we come to the, to the best feature of of this uh, plugin is this freeze. So every time you press this freeze, it will loop the, the delay effect endlessly. Also after that, it goes to the filters. And in filters, you can, you have two graphical visual filters when you can automate them or even connect those XLFOs to, the, to tweak the parameters all the time. But for this occasion, I chose to write an automatization and if you can see what I did automate here is when when this freeze button is on and then I just with the mouse I tweaked around and then I rewrote something here just to sound better but you will love this one because this technique is amazing for for delaying if you need like a longer delay before break and then to have something in break and then you can even filter it everything in one plugin you don't need to put external filters or something and then when you turn off the freeze because feedback is not much it stops and then you can bounce and keep even this as a preset or use it in other channels in Cubase we could now export this whole group channel in XML file and then keep it and then in every project when you need you just load this track group send all the all the sounds through it record bounce and then you can even delete it so try to organize yourself you know like like I did save some presets some save some like racks or something and then you explore try this one another one this is what I do every time and this is the end of this tutorial I hope that you like it and see you next Wednesday with another one. Bye.